Hello and welcome to the basic banner creation tutorial. So this is how to create a banner in Mountain Blade Warband. For this particular tutorial we're using a texture file from the award device and file modification but the same process can be followed for any uh, warband modification or even native warband itself. So for a world of ice and fire, I won't be looking for the banners player texture in the texture folder within the module files. And we're going to be using GIMP for this tutorial. So I'll post a link to that down below, but it's a completely free software. Uh, so you can download for free and it's a very good alternative to something like Photoshop. So first we're going to select the rectangle select tool and we want to make sure that we select the whole of this banner so as you can see I handily left this banner blank for this particular purpose so we're going to copy that create a new image doesn't really matter what size it is we're going to paste that as a new layer, right click, go to image and crop to content. So now we can go to colors, colorize and choose our color for our banner. So if we go to dark, as you can see, you can't see through the texture and the same if we go to light so we want to be somewhere in between so something like that will do okay so there we go we have one colored banner although it looks a little bit boring so how about we add a bit of dirt or something so if we go to decor and fog uh, you can change the fog color here but we'll probably we go for something like that and there we go so we can actually change the opacity of that slightly and if we want dirt just on the bottom of the banner we can take our eraser make sure we are on the layer they just created and then we can erase some of that like that Okay, so now let's add an emblem to our banner. So this I taken from Google. We're gonna use the fuzzy select tool. You may wanna change your threshold to make sure it selects all of the same color. So we're gonna select the black first, just cause it's easier. We're gonna cut that, which leaves us with just the emblem left. If we go to select all, copy, go back to our banner and paste as new layer. So now we want to use a scale tool. I think something like that will do. And we'll move that into position. It might be a good idea to take a look at the other banners and see a rough size of the other emblems and position. So we can try and get this the same. So something like that I think will do. So we could also go to colors and colorize. We could change the color to whatever we want. So maybe you want a nice pink color. But I think we're gonna keep that as it is for now. Now we can do various different things with this to make it look slightly different. So if we want to make it look like it's been painted on, for instance, we go to noise. Uh, which is again in filters and we can go something like pick if we change the repeat and we can play around with the randomization as well if you want to or we could also use again in noise and slur oh so there we go so it looks like it's you know sort of been painted on a little bit i suppose but we'll keep it as it is for now. We could also change the mode. So normally I'd use something like overlay so you can actually see through it, which sometimes makes it look a little bit better, but in this case, as you can see, it's too dark. 
So you can probably play around with these, uh, see what looks best. I think we're just going to leave it on normal for now and turn that opacity down a little bit. Uh, something like that, I think. Okay, so if we now merge these down, merge down, make sure we have this selected. We're going to copy that, go back to our banner texture, paste as new layer. Now we want to have the move tool selected and make sure that is directly over the old banner so something like that so now if we merge that down select all we now have our nice new created banner so if we go to file and export as we're going to save it over the same uh, texture, fi uh, texture file export replace make sure that we select dxt1 and mip maps and then just select ok and then that should overwrite it and you should be able to choose that banner in game so there we go feel free to join our discord and show off and share any of the banners you create and hopefully i shall see you in the next video